110 kilometers road, treadmill, trail, park run, and a run on the Jurassic Coast all make up week number seven of the Paris Marathon training series. Let's get into it. Let me give you a bit of a kit breakdown first. So shoes, Hoka Speedgoat 5s, staple for any long distance trail run. Uh, socks, basic socks from Decathlon. Shorts, basic shorts from Amazon, nothing special. Kalenji uh, underwear. And then on top, I've got um, an X-Bionic uh, running top. I've got three layers on today. So an X-Bionic top, um, then a Montane fleece, and then this brand new Montane Nano. Is it Phase Nano, it's called. It's supposed to be the top of the range, brand new um, Montane waterproof jacket. Um, so I'm testing it out at the moment hopefully going to wear it throughout this year um, and I've also got the uh, Montaigne prism gloves these are the old ones before the the new ones came out which are waterproof these are the non waterproof Montaigne prism gloves really lovely and warm they are getting a bit old now though and on my right wrist I've got the Phoenix 7x and then over here we're wearing the Epix Pro both Garmin watches the Epix and the Phoenix 7x so there we go that's the kit. Oh no, and I've got my uh, Skyline Scotland beanie on as well that I got a couple of years ago at the Ben Nevis Ultra. So that's the kit we're wearing. Um, today I'm out on a, about 27 kilometres, so 17 mile run on the South Downs. So because we raced the day before on the Sunday in the West Sussex Fun Run League in Crawley, uh, and that video is there by the way if you want to watch it, um, we, we were supposed to take Monday a little bit easier, uh, but we ended up speeding up and speeding up. We did six times three minutes and uh, we did it progressively. So we started slowly, but by the end we were going fairly rapidly. And I would say on average we did around 800 meters per three minute rep. I also ran to the track and back from the track and that made Monday's session around 10 miles in all. Easy day on Tuesday, took it uh, nice and easy on the climbing session on Zwift in the morning and then did 10k in the evening on Zwift. The main hard session of the week came on Wednesday and that was uh, two sets of four times 90 seconds. So we did 90 seconds times four, each one getting a little bit quicker, then a five minute rest and then another 90 seconds times four getting a little bit quicker and there was a minute rest in between each of those as well so that was our hard session on wednesday and you can see by the heart rate i did put an effort in max heart rate of 172 for wednesday's session so we're in february 2023 and if you are still watching this in february 2023 then noble pro treadmills still have their sale on that i advertised last week 100 pounds off the 8 and the 8i treadmills and as well as that if you use my discount code which is in the description here you get an extra four percent off so if you are after a treadmill if you're after one of the new smart treadmills that can connect to zwift then uh, go down and click my link below in the description you'll get the 100 pounds off and four percent and while you're looking just below the video why not click that subscribe button and the bell notifications icon as well uh, really appreciate it we are getting close to 12,000 subscribers now and if I could get you know anywhere between 15,000 and 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year I'd be absolutely over the moon it really helps us out to keep this channel moving along provide you with running content every week so appreciate your support everyone and if you remember double kudos for your support thank you for joining the Film My Run channel. So following Wednesday's tough session, Thursday was nice and easy. All on Zwift, two sessions, climbing session in the morning, and then a nice easy session, although it was quite long, 15 kilometers, and that made up about 20K for the day, but all really low heart rate, easy running. On Friday, we went outdoors, 10 miles, 
of flat running along the seafront. Relatively low heart rate, comfortable effort. I really hope you guys are all enjoying this uh, series of videos because hopefully there is enough detail there for you to have a look at your own training and see, well, should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? What's Stephen doing that I definitely shouldn't do? <laughs> What's Stephen doing that maybe I could use in my training? So I hope your training's going well, whatever you're training for. Let me know in the comments, have you got a marathon coming up in the spring? What's your training looking like at the moment? Hopefully these videos go into enough detail about my week to give you a good idea of how I'm training for what I hope to be a sub three marathon in April. Whether that happens or not, who knows, but I'm not focusing in on every single session in detail, but I hope the details I am giving you are enough for you to gain something from my training that will help your training. And with that, let's move on to Saturday. Saturday was one of those perfect days where we went away, so we went to Dorset for the weekend and we did park run on Saturday morning. And we met up with my friend Tina, who I've never met before, only know from Zwift. And it was the first time Tina and I had met since we'd been speaking on Zwift for three years or so. It was really lovely to meet Tina. So we did a nice relaxed Bridport park run, which is linked up there if you want to watch that, uh, with Tina on Saturday morning. And then Saturday afternoon, Victoria and I did 10 miles on um, the Jurassic Coast. So a lovely place to run, one of the best coastlines in the UK. We ran from West Bay. I don't know if you remember the series Broad Church in the UK. So that was filmed in West Bay. So we went from West Bay along the Jurassic Coast all the way to Chesil Beach. Very famous book called Chesil Beach, which is well worth reading. So we did that coastline on Saturday afternoon. Sunday, we really should have got ourselves together and gone out running in the morning, but we didn't. So we had to drive all the way home from Dorset and then go out for a 20k run. But we did, in the dark, 20 kilometres. I did it as a kind of interval session, although low heart rate, so the intervals weren't very fast. But we did one kilometre on and then one kilometre off, one kilometre on, one kilometre off for 20k. So that was a good session to finish the week. One thing that did come of meeting Tina on Saturday was that she told me I needed a haircut. So, uh, got a haircut. It's a bit shorter than the last video, isn't it? <laughs> so let's look at how that breaks down, shall we? 110k split between 68 outside and 42 kilometers on the treadmill on Zwift. And of those 110k, 20 of them were really hard. So I ran fast, or I would describe them as a tough effort. So what's that? 18% of my running was a hard effort in terms of distance. In terms of the number of activities I did, I did 10 activities. That's, you know, we don't include warm ups and things like that. And I also, I think Tuesday, I did two sessions very close together. So I've only counted that as one session. So 10 sessions, three of those were hard sessions, interval sessions, sessions where I worked hard. So uh, that's 30%. And now to the nitty gritty of heart rate zones. So I did 11 hours and nine minutes of running approximately. I mean, none of these numbers are exact, okay? 11 hours and nine minutes approximately of uh, running last week, week seven. And of those, we did about 39 minutes, 38 minutes, 44 seconds, if you want to be pedantic, uh, of, um, of running in zones four and five. Now, let's just cross-reference that with the distance that I ran. So of my 110K, we ran 20K hard effort. But if you look at the number of minutes I spent, 38, 39 minutes in zones four and five across 20K, well, if I was doing a really hard effort, I could do maybe 10K in 38, 39 minutes if I was really going for it. 
So where's that other 10K? Well, obviously if we're doing intervals and, and sessions where we have rest periods, then obviously that distance is taken up there, but it's still counted as hard effort. Um, it's still counted as um, what a session where I've worked hard, even though a lot of the mileage is actually not in zones four and five. Uh, so yeah, zones four and five, 38 minutes, and that's about five or six percent, nearer six percent of my running last week was in zones four and five. If you're interested in watching any of the other videos in the Paris Marathon training series, then click that link right there. That'll take you to the playlist. If you haven't subscribed, go and click that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And as a change next week to the plan, we are going up to 130K, 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 161, 161 for the last four weeks. That's the plan. See you later.